Hello, in this video, we're gonna go over drawing 11.1. Uh, this uh, drawing is from chapter 11. Uh, the textbook is Discovering AutoCAD 2017 and 2020, Dix and Riley. Uh, in this video, we're gonna cover uh, the basics um, of uh, isometric drawing. So let's get started. Uh, according uh, to the instructions uh, of the book, let's change the snap setting and the grid setting. So uh, go down uh, to snap mode. Uh, we're gonna turn on uh, the snap mode and the, uh, the grid mode and we need to change the setting. So click on this little arrow, go to snap setting. Uh, we will make a snap on and the grid on. Uh, the space, uh, the X spacing uh, 0.25 and we need to turn on uh, the 2D model uh, space under the display dot the grid N. So make sure it is uh, on as well. So we have a snap on, grid on, and the 2D model. Uh, we have the grid spacing uh, 05, uh, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and uh, the Y spacing as well. Uh, let's click OK. OK, so we change that to uh, the dotted grid mode. Now, after that, we need to uh, click on the isometric drafting, uh, which make the isoplane off, uh, on. So let's click on it, and that will turn the uh, isometric uh, mode. Now, from this little arrow, you see that we have three uh, isoplanes, uh, the isoplane left, top, and right. Uh, for the first exercise, I'm going to choose a three or four to draw on this exercise. Um, then I let you do the rest a uh, similar way. So let's uh, start by drawing uh, the isometric right. Okay. And here you go. Uh, this is the exercise that we're trying to, um, to do. As you see here, uh, this is the right isoplane, uh, isoplane right, and this is left. And this is top. Similar here, right, left, and this is top. So if you are drawing this circle, this is supposed to be on the left isoplane. This side is on the right isoplane. If you're drawing this circle on the left, however, this one should be on the top. So you need to decide which isoplane to move on and turn on the correct isoplane. So let's start drawing the first one on the left, on the top left side. And we will start by uh, clicking on the line and make sure you do have um, the isoplane right to, to start with them. Now, now make line, uh, pick a point, then go to right side. You need to go and you're following the snap mode, okay? So here, four, one, and one. Okay, hit enter to finish that part. Now you can use zoom in, pan, and just feel comfortable with uh, the ways you have. Start the line or enter again, pick the point. And now we do have uh, four, so uh, pick that point. If you do anything wrong, you enter to undo, then pick the correct point down, down, hit enter to finish uh, selecting, then enter again to start uh, the line mode one more time, and just pick the point. Now we need to draw the circle here. Uh, the circle with the isometric should be an uh, ISO circle. Uh, so uh, go to the ellipse command on the draw panel, then choose axis end. Down here you click on ISO circle or I enter, then specify center of the ISO circle. The center is uh, the point in the middle, so you pick on it. Now, you see here it doesn't look good, and that's because we need to change the isoplane. So go back, and now we need to pick the isoplane left. Also, you can uh, change the isoplane by pressing the F5 button. Now, here I go. Now we are on the correct isoplane, click, uh, click the other point, and here you go. 
Now you can just copy with the ISO, uh, ISO plane, uh, copy from the modify panel, click the circle, enter, pick uh, the center of the circle and copy it uh, to the other center. Just follow the lines to make uh, the directions correctly. Now hit the escape button to finish. We will trim. Here we need to do some trimming to trim the part of the circle behind. We don't need that. So TR enter or from the modify panel, uh, you can uh, find a trim over there. Okay, then cutting edges. This circle is the cutting edge. Then enter, then you trim the rest of the circle. And here you go, this is the first one. Let's do uh, one more, uh, the one next to that do it the same way remember in isometric you can also move okay you can do um, all the things you do with a uh, 2d model now uh, let's start with line command to draw the one on the top right corner okay and just follow uh, the lines here make sure uh, you are following uh, the grid and the snap now hit enter again to start uh, another one okay now uh, whenever you need to trim or delete you can do that easily so if i'm going from there And here, uh, you can pick this point. Uh, you can continue with the same lines or you can just uh, stop it and um, <clears throat> use another um, lines, that is up to you. So here, you just get uh, the lines on the top and here we have a little square, okay. Then uh, another line, you can repeat enter to uh, draw the line and here we have Okay, so let's get uh, another uh, lines from there with uh, two of them. So remember that you always can uh, do uh, some uh, trimming and some uh, deleting as well. So keep uh, drawing the lines following this now. Enter, another enter to repeat uh, the same uh, command. And here you go, just following uh, the points. Okay. Um, now here we do have uh, two circles. Let's uh, draw the circles on uh, the top. To draw the circles, uh, go to um, uh, the same way that we did with the previous ones. So click on axis end, then uh, ISO circles. Now we need to get uh, to the uh, shape again. And here we need to pick uh, the middle point. Then we need to choose the correct ISO plane. So either you uh, click on F5 or uh, make it top okay here you go you can repeat drawing the circle or copy and pick the point from center to center okay now let's see if we miss anything uh, we have a line down here okay also we need to uh, trim this line Okay, so I think that is all for this part. Uh, let's make uh, the part right under this with the arcs, uh, just to practice more how to make uh, circles. Uh, again, you start with a line. Let me zoom a little bit in. Okay, so let's start drawing uh, the lines down following the grids. 
and then uh, another line from uh, this point we need to uh, go up four enter now let's copy let's copy these two lines enter and from this point we need to go two three so here you go you just put it on the correct place uh, also we can um, let's count if we are correct data okay now uh, from here we need to have uh, another line we can copy this line from uh, the point okay from this point till the end here you go so we finish that part we can uh, uh, go and draw the arc let me just uh, move this this is drawing a little bit so they will not overlap okay now let's uh, move move on to the next uh, step here we need to draw this arc again uh, from uh, the uh, axis and isocircle and now what what plane we have let's make sure we are on um, on the left plane and now we need to um, specify center and here's the end let's make trimming if you need to get uh, the cutting edges, you can uh, choose this too. So cutting edges, this and this, enter, and here you go. So we finish uh, that part. Now we need to copy. Let's make copy arc from this point to the point after, but be careful here that you're using the correct direction. Now let's draw a line from uh, the down here to, let me zoom in. Okay, now we need to complete uh, this other part and we will draw lines on the top. So let's go to line command, L enter, draw um, L enter and then get the point from down here. Let's go up one point, enter, another uh, enter to get the same line command pick the point enter enter now we need to uh, draw the arc underneath so do the same uh, axis end isocircle okay and the center is uh, this point pick the correct point now enter to finish here we need to do some trimming and we need to copy uh, so let's make a copy at the beginning or oh, let's trim the circle first i'm gonna trim that part then we will do copy from this point to this point now we're gonna make a line from the end point and up now this one we don't need it anymore so we can delete it and here we just need that part we cannot see the arc from inside so it's not necessary to have it now let's have the circle over there the same way axis end and here's uh, the circle uh, the center of the circle is that point click on it now click on the other diameter this one we need also to copy it because there is a little part coming from that so let's make copy circle enter and this point to this point enter now we need to do trimming tr enter cutting edges is this circle enter then we trim the part here we need to draw a line and for this one I recommend having the object snap on. So let's turn on the object snap and click on this little arrow. Make sure you have the quadrant and the tangent. Now start the line command, L enter. Let's pick the point. Okay. Now we do some trimming here. TR enter and we can uh, just trim 
the lines and the arcs. So uh, we've done this one. I'm gonna do one more, uh, which is the one that has circles on the top. Let me see. You. So uh, for this one, let's start a line command. So L enter, or just line, pick a point. And here you need to um, uh, start, um, we have four. So one, two, three, and this is four. And then we need to uh, get this point. Then we need to go up. And this one is, um, let's go get up one point. Then we need to go left and close. Also, we have um, to the other side. And here we have uh, five points. Okay, now let's get the other side line. Okay, now we need to get um, the circles on the top and this is the main thing here that I need to talk about. We need to move on to uh, the top, isoplane top. And here you need to draw the circle this way. Uh, the first thing, um, we need to use the axis end and then the ISO circle, and here I uh, pick the middle point. Then the other snap point. So this is the first one. Now we need to copy uh, the rest of the circle. So we need to create another one, uh, copy, circle, enter, pick the center, and we need to go uh, vertically. So make sure you are going vertically and choosing the correct points. Now enter. We created this one. Now we need to uh, make some trimming and draw the lines here. Uh, TR, enter. Uh, the cutting edge, uh, let's use cutting edge. And this is the cutting edge as uh, you see here. So the cutting edge is this circle, enter, then you need to cut, um, trim these parts, enter. So we have uh, these two circles. Now we need to draw the lines, the vertical lines. So line, if you have the object to snap on, you have the quadrant. Uh, so uh, you need to pick the quadrant points. Okay, so here you go. Um, if it's interrupt with the snap, you can just turn the snap off a little bit. Enter, pick uh, the other quadrant. Okay, now let's trim. TR, enter. And I need to trim uh, these little parts here. You can get the snap back. And here you go. Uh, now what we need here to create uh, the circle inside, we're gonna uh, create it the same way. So axis and ISO circle. Uh, be sure that we are on the isoplane top. Pick the center. And here we need uh, this one to be smaller. So here you go. Now I need to copy this circle down. So you go to copy the circle, enter from center uh, and make sure it is down to uh, vertically okay now enter uh, let's the trim tr enter or uh, get the trim uh, from uh, the uh, the modify panel now we need to uh, uh, trim this one so this is the cutting edge enter and we need to uh, trim the rest of uh, the circles Okay, so click on that, enter. So here you go to finish that part. Now here, I think uh, that line should be halfway. So we need to go uh, halfway between these lines. Okay, because it, it looks like half of the snap. And uh, then we can delete 
this part, you can modify uh, the lines by trimming or by using uh, the grips, um, uh, whatever uh, is easier for you. Let's do trimming. Okay, so I can use trim or modify with the grips. Okay, so for this exercise, we finished uh, four parts. You can complete the other two or three parts uh, the same way by using um, the lines. Uh, make sure you have uh, the isoplane, the correct one. You use the snap uh, correctly. You can turn off and on the snap just according to your needs. Uh, use the object snap as well, just to get it. If you need the dynamic input, that's fine. Also, you can turn it on and off. Uh, I hope uh, you've learned the new skills and you like this um, exercise. Uh, looking forward to work with you again next time. Thank you for watching.